Well, hello, Bowleggers. And how, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's lunchtime, and I'm going to fix me a little egg salad. And I want to share you my recipe with you guys. Let's get started. Let me show you how it's done. I begin with, um, I have four eggs that I've already cut up, began cutting up, and um, the yolk and the white into a bowl. I got two more eggs here that I'm going to cut up and put with it with a total of six eggs. And it depends on how much egg salad you want to make. It uh, um, depends on how many eggs you're going to boil or how many eggs you're going to have. But um, when you boil your eggs, remember, always boil your eggs about no more than about 12 minutes. It's about the tops that um, a good solid hot, hard bar, boil egg will take. And um, once it completely, uh, you reach your 12 minute timeline, turn your fire off, leave the eggs in the water that you boil them in, and just let it sit there on the stove. Move it off of the hot eye that you boiled them on, but just leave them sitting on the stove in the water that you boiled them in, and just let them sit there about a good 30, min 30, to 30 minutes to maybe an hour. And after they cool to where you can handle them without burning yourself, I guarantee you the peels will just peel off, they'll fall off. It's very easy. Just tap them against the pot, and the shells will crack and peel off very easy, and you'll have perfectly peeled boiled eggs every time. Every time. Okay, now that we got all our eggs um, cut up, let's get rid of that. Now we're going to move on to some um, some mayo, and we're going to use about I'm probably going to use about a half a, about three fourths of a cup of mayo. I like a little mustard in mine to give it a little zest. Not much, just a little bit. We want to come in with some sweet salad cube pickles. That's going to give it flavor as well as somewhat of a crunch. About three teaspoons of pickles should get it. And hold on, guys. One thing, one or two other things I just forgot that I left in the fridge. Let me get them right quick. I've been busy all day running back and forth out in the yard doing some yard work as well as out doing a little shopping and out doing some other things. So it's just been a crazy day running back and forth. But now we're going to move, uh, put in a little celery, chopped up celery, and it's chopped pretty fine. And that's probably about a half a cup of celery, I'll say, to put in. That's going to give it a little crunch as well as flavor. And we're going to use about a half a cup of onion, chopped onions, finely chopped onions. And yes, you can put finely chopped onions in egg salad. It tastes great. It adds to the flavor. All right, now, we're going to come in. You know me with my garlic. I got to have my little garlic powder. I love my garlic powder. I'm going to have some, a little salt, a little black pepper, about a teaspoon of black pepper and about a teaspoon of salt. Now this is optional. The red crush, crushed red pepper flakes, this is op optional. I kind of like it because of the heat. I like my uh, egg salad to have somewhat of a little bite to it. So I definitely always put a little red pepper flakes in mine. Not much, but just enough to kick up the flavor and the heat. You're going to mix this well. Oh, that's looking good. Very good. And with egg salad, it's the same as like tuna salad or salmon salad, either one. You can make a sandwich. You can serve it with club crackers. You can serve it with saltines. You can serve it with Ritz crackers, either one. All three uh, uh, ways work. And you can have it for lunch. I've even had it for dinner, to be honest. I've had um, egg salad with uh, club crackers for dinner. 
And now that we have this down, we're gonna put it on a bed of lettuce. It's completely finished now. Make sure we get every bit of it. Don't wanna leave any. There we go. And we're gonna to top it off with a little paprika. And remember I told you paprika has very light flavors uh, to it. Mostly paprika is, is, is for, is for as, it's an aesthetic uh, look. It gives you a look and, and, and topping off as far as a finished product, but flavor, it has very little flavor. But here's your egg salad. I hope you guys have enjoyed this recipe. I hope you give it a try. And if you do give it a try, hit me back and let me know what you, uh, tell me what you thought about it. I guarantee, I'm hoping that you like it. I know I love it. Also, you can almost, uh, you can always email me at rickyj429 at gmail.com and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You guys have a great day. Stay blessed. And like I always say, try to be someone's blessing. Have a great day. Bye-bye.